I was messing around in Cinema 4D the other day, trying to figure out how to set type on a spline around like a circular object like this. Kind of how you would do it in Illustrator, setting type on a path. And I figured out a way to do it with MoGraph's MoText and the Spline Effector. Now I'm not sure which version they introduced the Spline Effector in, so you may or may not have it. But if you do, this is how you would do it. Now this is just a tube primitive and 200 on the outside, 125 on the inside, and I did, uh, I believe, like a three rounding there. And all I did was pull all the points on the inside up 20 to give it that slope like that. And I'll show you why in a second why I did that slope. So you're going to need a text. And for the text, I'll just say rounding. And going to have to change the font because I can't stand that font. There we go. Now the height is obviously ridiculous, so I'll have to change this to, I believe, 35 worked. And I'll line it to the middle. And since the back of this type is going to be sitting on this tube object, you're going to want to use a negative depth so that you're still able to extrude it however much you want. I'm going to keep it at a really low one for the moment. And I'm going to need a spline to run this MoType around. So I'm going to use, for this, a circle spline. And I'm going to change the plane to XZ. And the radius somewhere around there. And I'm going to have to bring it up so that it's sitting along my tube there. I'll probably have to adjust that later. All right, so now I have my MoType and my spline. And I will select my MoText object and go into MoGraph's Effectors and apply a Spline Effector. And obviously it does absolutely zero, and that's because it requires you to give it a spline. So I will put the circle in the spline field, and voila, it affects it. But obviously it's not doing exactly what we want it to do. So I, I mess with this a couple times, and there are actually two different ways to do this, but this is the way to do it if you want to retain the fonts kerning and spacing. Change the mode to relative, and that's literally it. To adjust the type and get the proper tracking you want, you just use the start and end points here, and you just bump that up to however you want it to look. That's fine. Let me turn my tube back on here. And to move it around the object to where you want it, you just use the offset to put it wherever you want it. Right there is fine for me. Now the reason I made this a slope too was to show you this. As you can see, this is not exactly what you want. So in the spline effector, you go into the parameters and you can just change the pitch to get it where you want it. I'm going to have to move my circle spline down, so this is actually in the object. And the reason I left my type kind of, uh, the depth kind of skinny there is because it's easier to judge how perfectly it's fitting along that slope there. And since you're using your negative depth, you can now do whatever you want to do as far as the type. You can also animate that, whatever. But there are two ways to set type like this around a circular object. And, sorry, this is just bugging me that it's off like that. <laughs> Get over there. One way is like this, to set the type like that, and the other is to set it along the top. And I messed with how to do this uh, in the spline effector settings, I tried changing the offset axis to a bunch of different things. Uh, I used a rail. I did all sorts of things with the up vectors, but it just never really worked out properly. So let me show you how you can do that. I'm just going to make this a group with option G. Name this type 1. And to duplicate that, I will hold down control 
and just drag it above it. Call this type 2, turn this off. Now you have that same exact setup, but to flip that up top, all you got to do is take your circle spline and rotate it 180 degrees in the pitch. Let me turn off my tube so you can see. And this is what you'll end up with. But all you got to do is go into your spline effector, go into the up vector, and this first one here, just click it up one. There you go. Let me turn my tube back on. And you're obviously going to have to change the pitch there as well, but first let me change my type to upper rounding. And as you can see, it got all squishy, and that's because you got to go back into your spline effector and mess around with the uh, start and end percentages to get what you want. And using the offset to set it in the position you want. And in the parameters, change the pitch to something yeah, around there is fine. Come back here. And that's it. That's all you got to do for the bottom, for the top. And you can obviously change the font and the type, but you have to adjust the start and end points. And now that it's all set up with the Mo type and the spline effector, you can do all sorts of different things with it. So that's how you set type on a spline in Cinema 4D.